It tends to be like pretty simple, but they've got one thing that seems to be out of place. So like this guy is a normal high school student, but why is he holding a knife? Let's check out these characters, shall we? Aozaki Aoko, Tonoshiki, Archetype Earth. <laughs> I think this character is actually, isn't she like a part of, she's a, she's Arcuid. It says actually Arcuid in her name. It doesn't say Arcuid. It doesn't say Arcuid in English, but it says Arcuid in Japanese. She's a par she's a palette swap of this girl, right? Arcuid, who's like the main character or second main character of the game, of the, the of the anime of the show. Oh man, it is a game, but it was a visual novel. So confused. Nanayashiki, Kishima Koma. This guy is basically Enkidu, right? Well, he I mean he isn't, but he looks like him. Arcuid's my girl. I will try her out. The thing is, I tried her out when we when we streamed Multi Blood two years ago. I did play Arcuid back then, so I was like, I'm gonna try a different character. And this this girl, Ciel, not only is she pretty insane, but I, I quite liked how she reminded me of Ibuki. She's got all these daggers that can she can throw in the air. Anyway, Arima Miyako, Ciel. You may recognize. <laughs> See anyone you recognize? This character is officially not in Undernight Inbirth, but a character in Undernight Inbirth did appear who looks exactly like this. So, mm, is it the same person? <laughs> Cole was basically a grappler. Interesting. Yeah, the, the soundtrack is so good. You know, the best thing about Raito, who is the guy who writes the music for, he, he writes the music for all the, like many of the French bread games. Why is he so good at writing character select theme? I was actually trying to choose music to have in the background when the stream began, and I was like, all the, all the theme musics are good, but none of them are as good <laughs> as the character select theme. The man's a genius, it's so good. Who's F he made? Is that, is that who this is? Yeah, the type meme character is kind of interesting. Okay, so, Sion, who is basically Eltnum. <laughs> Rizubaife. I can't tell if this is I can't tell if this is supposed to be a male or female character. Maybe it's it's right down the middle. Maybe this is a character who is neither nor. Roast beef. Is that is that what you call him? Rizubaife. Roast beef. Then there's the vampire version of Sion, so they're on opposite sides looking at each other. Wa warachia. Warakia. Warakia. This is, who is this? This is, in Undernight terms, this is that girl. Helen? No. <gasps> what is the name of the name? Wagner. Wagner. The outfit reminds me of Wagner. Uh, wait a minute. Carmine's in this game. Michael Roa. Mech Hisui. Akiha Vermillion. I, I just think they all look whacked out crazy. I love it. Like, they're whacked out crazy, but they're not... They've all got, like, one style thing that kind of defines them. This is... This is probably the reason... If people ask... If people were to ask me, like, which do I prefer playing more? Guilty Gear or, like, Undernight? I think... I, would, I choose... I tend to... I would tend to say... I like Undernight multi Blade style more than the Guilty Gear style. And it's just because... Guilty Gear, even though it's really, really unique and interesting, it's like... Why does every character have 8 million elements on them at the same time? And it's it's also to do with like the number of belts on them. But I feel like with the French bread character designs, it tends to be like pretty pretty simple, but they've got one thing that seems to be out of place. So like this guy is a normal high school student, but why is he holding a knife? This person's okay, this person sort of doesn't count. It is it is quite simple, but it's it, you know, it's basically just a florid looking dress. Again, another high school student, but he's holding a knife. This guy is just a normal guy, but he's got one of those Chinese style shirts with the sort of up, the up color, the priest color. And he also apparent, apparently kind of buff. A guy with a cape who is quite obviously a vampire. I feel like I can always narrow it down to like the one thing that defines them and it makes them really, uh, that's why that's why I just feel quite drawn to the character designs in, in multi, uh, French bread games. Red Arcuid. I didn't know there was another. There's another version of Arcuid over here. Powered CL. So if I get bored of CL, I might switch over to this one. 
AO C row I win. <laughs> Who's which one was row again? Oh, this guy. Yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of characters to try out, but I, I, I just know so little about the game. I'm just gonna pick up CL for a bit and just try some matches. Akiha, Tono, Tono, Aki. Oh, wait, is this. Are these people brother and sister? I don't know a whole lot about the story. Hisui and Kohaku. I think I've figured it out now. There's three. There's three maids, right? There's Kohaku, there's Kos Kohaku, Hisui, and the other one is. Koha. Oh god, there's a mech! What? What's the difference between Hisui and mech? I'm a little bit confused now. Anyway, to what? I thought I Tono Akiha and Tono Akiha. Oh, they're just okay. So there's this is another palette swap. I thought they were completely different people at first. So there's two Tono Akihas. Yumi Zuka Satsuki. I think this person is a grappler, right? I play people in my own state. It was terrible, but we shall try. I'm looking forward to it. Let's try it. In fact, we could try it since I don't want to force you to stick around till the end of the stream. So maybe we'll we'll actually try that like soon. Len, Ryogishiki, White Len. Oh right, there's another palette swap here. Chaos, Neko Arc Chaos, Neko and Mech, Kohaku. Neko Arc. I actually don't know what these Neko characters are about, but I'm I'm under the impression that they're kinda they're kinda not like non-standardish. Hisui and Koha and Mech. Alright. I'll go back to the train mode for a sec. I don't know I think it I don't know about like vampire versions of characters, but definitely when you think about Ryu, Ken, and Akuma, people do refer to those characters as as color swaps, right? That's not derogatory or anything, is it? Like, color swapping in a game is, is... Wait, whose video... Someone did a video about color swaps. I don't know if it was Theory Fighter or Leon Massey is one of those guys. There was a video someone made about how, like, color swapping is not just a cheap way of putting more characters in the game. It's actually, like, an important way to expand away from certain archetypes of characters because you know, you've got the Ryu who's got the good fireball, but it's basically Ken is the Ryu but with a better dragon punch and not as good a fireball. I think that's an important part of it. I can't remember what it was, but it was it was talking about whole how how basically games, especially like Street Fighter, the whole game is based around Ryu and his fireball and like all the other characters are just designed like to deal with Ryu. Like is there a character who can jump over a fireball and punish Ryu for it? Or is it a character who can go straight through the fireball? Or is it a character that, I don't know, has a better dragon punch than Ryu because he doesn't have as good a fireball? I, I just think it's really funny. funny. I think it's really fascinating how the games kind of start with one character and then they build away from that character. And then in addition to just being built around that character, you've also just got like the mirror <laughs> mirror versions, the color sort versions of that character. And definitely in Melty Blood, half the characters in this game are just, or I say just, they're, they're color swap versions or combination characters. And I, actually, I'll show you this right now because it is so fascinating. If you press down, down, D, tag team, you get to be like the other character. How absolutely bonkers is that? So this is the reason I chose not to be one of these robo maids or maid characters is because I don't understand how I would use this dash. This looks really confusing to me. <laughs>